Hi there, and welcome to 106 Consulting. Today we're going to take a quick look at relationship types in Primavera P6. In P6, a relationship refers to a link between two activities. This link describes the logical flow of work between tasks. For example, in building a house, the roofing cannot start until the walls are finished. P6 uses the term predecessor and successor to describe the relationship between two activities. There are four relationship types to choose from in P6. Finish to start. The most commonly used relationship is finish to start. In this example, when build walls is finished, then install roof can start. Start to start. Start to start is used to describe a starting dependency between tasks. In this example, the site work activity cannot start until safety management starts. This type of relationship is commonly used with start milestones. Finish to finish. Finish to finish is used to describe a finishing dependency between tasks. One activity cannot finish until another activity finishes. In this example, project management cannot finish until the site work is finished. This relationship is commonly used with finish milestones. Start to finish. This is a somewhat confusing relationship type and is the least used of all the activity relationships. It basically states that an activity cannot finish until its successor starts. Indeed, most industry best practice guidelines actively discourage its use. There are very few examples of a truly practical purpose for this relationship, and therefore we recommend you avoid using it. If you'd like to learn more about Primavera P6, then 106 offers some great online training courses. These courses are written by industry experts and offer you all the skills you need to get up and running as a P6 scheduler. For more information, visit our website at 106.com for full details on how to get started.